thank you again for bringing this to our attention. I can assure you it's of utmost importance to us to make sure that we not only correct the problem that occurred, but ensure that it would never happen again. It's our goal to continue to earn your trust whenever you're sending flowers or gifts across town of the country. Thank you again. Did you receive any calls or complaints for Valentine's Day? Maybe an arrangement that didn't make the delivery or the flowers might not have developed as they should have. It's not to be taken personally. It doesn't mean that you're a bad operator, but many times those calls aren't gonna come in very pleasant. So addressing and understanding the concerns is the very first step. The biggest mistake I find people make is preparing a solution before getting on the phone. The guy's very upset. I need to call the customer back. What should I give him? Now that we know exactly what happened, what do you feel a fair resolution should be? I'm sorry that your roses didn't open as expected. May I give you ten dollars off your next order? I'll give you yes, um, thank you. Yeah, I appreciate you letting me know about that. Could we send a letter to the recipient to explaining what happened and... Okay. And if you need anything else, please don't hesitate to call me. My name is Shelby. You can always ask for me. So let's review what we just saw. We have Doris who's getting ready to go into a conversation with a customer who's clearly very upset. And the first thing Doris wants to make sure she knows is, how much of a discount can I offer the customer? Then we have Christine who spent time speaking to the customer. Then at the end, she said, what do you feel is a fair resolution? Because, you know, many times you're talking to a customer and they say, I don't know, what do you think? I should, what do you think? And you start giving discounts and then they start saying that's not good enough. And you just keep going back and forth. So it might be better to pose the question to the customer, what do you feel would be a fair resolution? And maybe review what happened. Understanding that the person wasn't there the first time we attempted delivery. You know, go through that. Let the customer tell you what they think is fair. Because if you can meet what their expectations are, they're going to feel a lot better getting off the phone than to feel they were shorted. Now let's look at Annie picking up the phone and saying, okay, I see that we have a problem. Can I offer you $10 off? Do we know, was that a $300 order where $10 wouldn't make a difference? Or was it a case where a delivery was missed and it caused a great big problem and now there's issues going on in the relationship? Valentine's Day is a very sensitive holiday that you've got to be very careful with the deliveries. It's not so much the flowers, it's the timing. So maybe a discount would not have been appropriate being that soon and then we have Shelby who completed the conversation and the customer did not want anything and Shelby was kind enough to just offer a little note of resolution to the recipient explaining what had happened taking responsibility if we need to and reassuring the customer my name is Shelby and please call and ask me if I can ever assist you in the future it's all about the closing and how we end the incident that happened I always state that we've made more customers off of complaints than we ever did off of compliments. It's how we approach that complaint and what we do with it. Remember, they're already upset. You can only make it better because it probably can't get very much worse. Good luck.